I did really well in the pros. I won three um, pro season tours. One, at least one, maybe two years was undefeated throughout the whole year. And I'm still playing singles. I got second at the national singles. I don't want to give it up right now. Uh, I know singles is tough though. And at my ripe old age, it's, it's hard to keep up with them. I was 50, a little over 50 at the time. So I did very, very well for, for my age. But I like the doubles just for that reason, but I still am not done with singles, so we'll see. Okay, why don't you go ahead and tell us like how old you are, how many kids, grandkids, all that kind of stuff. Really? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> uh, I'm 54 and I have two girls, 26-year-old Danielle and my nine-year-old Raylin. And I have three grandsons, ages eight, all the way down to two. My husband, Michael, is such a great guy. Uh, we met on a bike ride. Uh, he works at Black Mountain Bikes. And so we go on bike rides all the time. Doesn't play racquetball, doesn't play pickleball, but we bike a lot. Nice shot, Ray. Yeah, I come from a big family. There were nine of us. So my mom was really big on exercise. And so she would get the family after school and we would all exercise with her and exercise her with different sports. And we started playing tennis. And then my uh, older brother and sister played racquetball in school and got us interested in it. And we ended up playing that with her. And she loved it because with tennis, you, you're outside. If it rains, you can't play. But with racquetball, you can play every day inside. So we joined Helix Courthouse, yeah, and all all of us played together. And you know, us little kids, we were we were um, probably like like nine or ten, and we would just play on one court together. And then we would switch out playing my mom, so she got her exercise. Betty and Richard, we just had so many great tournaments and events, and it was a real family-oriented facility. You know, we would go there, like I said, as kids, and we'd be running around. You know, lots of places don't allow that. But Betty, they let us run around and do our thing, and we had good tournaments there, fun tournaments, as you know, and just to be able to see the pros play and, and learn from them and just all the excitement, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I remember you as uh, those little kids running around. <laughs> <laughs> you were nine yeah. when I was 18. Uh -huh. So that's, that's a, a big, big difference. That's a big spread at that yeah. age. <laughs> <laughs> and we all got better. And then we started playing tournaments and doing well there. And we'd go as a family, the four youngest siblings and my mom and dad. And then we would do well and just keep playing so that that's kind of the start of, of my career and their their career as far as they took it they, they all had families and so they stopped and who impressed you the most who did you want to kind of model yourself after or? well you know well Lynn Adams was number one at the time so I definitely wanted to model myself after her uh, I got to play her I think only one time in the pros and it was it was fun it was exciting and uh, it was neat to learn her mental strategies and the mental strength that she had when she played. It was fun. So Joy and I started playing together. We've played all the international tournaments there are. I mean, I've played all of them, but I've won all of them with Joy. So the Olympic Festival, the Nationals, Worlds, um, Pan Am Games. It's great traveling with Joy because you have to room with the team. So I get to room with my twin and it was a lot of fun. We would go out, we would do some sightseeing and then just the camaraderie that we had on the court, you know, everybody thought we were telepathic because we're always covering each other's shots. So being able to play with somebody like that, that knows your shots, that's always there to cover you. You're always there to cover them. You know, we feel like a really unified team. Tell me about you know, what's happening with you and Pickleball. Pickleball. So my brother, that's just older than than Joy and I, started playing, and then Joy and then my younger brother played, and I was still playing racquetball, um, but they kept trying to draw me in to play. It's like, oh, come out and play pickleball. So I ended up playing um, some tournaments with them and um, hitting some with them, and I'm hoping to get into the pros. Uh, Joe, my younger brother, just got third. At, um, in a pro division and played some local pros and did very very well so I'm hoping 
play the pros and do well in it as well. And how did you come up with the idea to build the pickleball coat? Uh, well, because I, we were with my mom and we were pretty much locked up, it was a good time to do it. The person who did it, Steve Melendez, had some time and we had, we had some fun. So we built that court and I was able to exercise. My daughter was able to go outside and play. Ten months is a long time to not be doing some exercise and getting out there.